Electric came about in 2017. There's a story I share that I was sitting with my father on our porch and watching all the wakeboard boats travel by our dock. And he would always ask, like, why are they loud and the consumption of fuel and everything? And we just sat there and I thought, if I'm going to enter the boat industry again, I'm going to make sure it's impactful and do something different. I don't want to be just another. So that's the beginning of us thinking of not what's next, but what you say, what's next next. And then from there, the journey began. I grew up behind boats most of my life and uh, been in the water sports industry since I can remember. Mike actually caught me in the parking lot over here and talked to me about this new project that he has and you should come back and check us out. So, you know, my first thought of electric boat is uh, like a John boat with a kicker motor on the back of it, you know, a trolling motor. But I open the doors up and I come inside and he's got a wakeboard boat. He says, you gotta experience this. You get behind the wheel and you accelerate the throttle. Everything else feels the same, but you just hear the water. And it's so different. You're not hearing the noise out the back. You're able to communicate. You're able to talk really calm. And it just blew my mind. When we initiated the launch of this, we said, what is the most difficult category we could attack in the electrification space? And if we can accomplish that and meet the performance goals, everything else will trickle down. The beauty of our current position is we accomplished the goals in the wakeboard category. And now we're expanding our category because it is the same application just different implementations of it. Our engineering team specializes in designing and like creating the best package for that customer. Our goal is to work with OEM or the dealer that wants to sell electric boats. They can continue doing what they do best, whether it's a world-class hull or a most exquisite interior of a boat that you've ever experienced, and that we can focus on the propulsion specifically. For us, we're the partners with Yasa, who's a subsidiary of Mercedes and WAE, a Fortescue company. We get immediate access to everything and start testing. So we're almost running parallel paths with what's being tested on the track. We're able to take to the lake, which is really rare. There's different strategic advantages to the technologies that we do use. 800 volts is simply the electric potential across the battery that we use in our uh, propulsion systems. That extends your time on water because you're not working as hard to cool the system. You're not carrying as much weight by using large electrical cables. And ultimately, that improves the customer experience because they have more time out having fun. We're trying to make the user experience just easily translatable. The shift moment on the water was extremely important, the acceleration profile. When you get into the boats today and you go experience it, you're gonna feel that it's the same feeling, if not better from an acceleration standpoint. When it comes to boating, I think a lot of people have forgotten what it's like to be on a simple boat that maybe just is a paddle boat, uh, a rowboat, a kayak. You feel that sense of, I guess, unity with the water. In motor boats, you've lost that a little bit because of the sounds, because of the noise, because of the smell. Um, you're kind of overstimulated. There's no exhaust fumes, there's no fuel vapors, and you start the thing and all you hear is the wind in the water. It really starts to change the way that you are interacting with your environment. This is a total game changer. Electrification is the clear pathway. Every OEM either has a plan, they're searching for a plan, or they want to you know, hire someone to do the research for it because everybody's nervous about not being in this category. The E1 performance system, 800 volt architecture, instant power, instant performance. It's absolutely the best on the market. We aren't what's next, we're what's next next. Starting with the most difficult application, if you could, in the, in the wakeboard and wake surf categories, absolutely catapulted us forward. And I would consider everybody else chasing us.